Hello, here I am on a fairly chilly Shanghai spring morning and I'm off to the 27th International Boat and Technology Equipment Exhibition over at the SNIEC. As ever, I will use the metro to get there on lines 9 and 7 and I'll use this new entrance as part of the building site to get down into line 9. Bit of map time, so Xu Jiao Hui, line 9 to Tao Jia Banglu, and then line 7 all the way through to the end, which is Hamulu over here, which is where the SNIEC is. And out of exit 1, and here we have the SNIEC. Yes, yeah, so as non Chinese, you go to the desk. They didn't ask for my passport though, but they've given me a little yap lanyard. You know, thing. We've got quite a few expos going on. It's all under this tourism plus and hotel shop, I think. So we've got hotel supplies, some building stuff, smart hotel, and then we've got lifestyle and boat. So that's in four, which is over this way. N3 is cleaning equipment and then the other half of N3 is into the boat. So there we've got a couple of jet skis. I think that's a rib in the background. Let's just run down this first aisle and see what we've got. So there's an internal engine. Boats. Well done to whoever got that in here. Some of the smaller stands, some outboards, electrical connections, toy stuff, another video guy. And then into N4, which is fully dedicated to marine equipment. Some la more large boats straight away. Yamaha offshore V8, two 5.6 litre, 450 horsepower. My word, look at that. Here we are on the Yamaha stand. 300 horsepower V6 and a 450 horsepower V8 5.6 litre. Look at that monster. And there was two on that boat back there. Look at that, wow. More on the Yamaha stand. We've got Honda in the distance as well. Jet ski and some uh, quad bikes there. Massive jet ski there. And then you've got Honda straight across the aisle. So again, coming out with some absolutely massive engines. Honda Marine. That's probably another V8, I guess. Wow, look at that. Yep, V8. Crazy. And then a Chinese large engine. There you go. So that's Idia, Chinese manufacturer. And then we've got Mercury, a name even I've heard of. This is obviously where all the big engines are, look at that. And Suzuki. up with things like uh, diesel generators and propellers at this end so I put out a uh, little questionnaire on the community page which we now have on YouTube even for small channels and basically everybody was saying don't do expos anymore Tim so this probably will be my last one and I'll dedicate a bit more time on things like transport um, maybe a little bit of Shanghai in general but uh, probably less of the expos unless another wine one comes along of course right let's have a little look at the little side stands
these are fun so I guess this is what you hold on to and it's when you go um, gliding around underwater so, mm. more boats in the hall including a sailing one back there let's have a look at that there's uh, to the rib nice that they've pointed out with a handmade little sign there's the toilet a little bit weird handmade sign I found a bit of water so I didn't find many but there are at least some examples of electric, electric motors of course as opposed to the uh, the V8 beasts ah I found it here's the waterfall and nothing going on in it really Howard surfboards from Sava a bit more water some it's a jacuzzi and that's about it so these guys did quite a lot of advertising is that right F70 yeah loads of advertising and then a tiny little stand with nothing on it Aha, I spot Fred. He didn't tell me he was here. I spot Fred, he didn't tell me he was here, but he is, look. <laughs> I've been texting him saying, this isn't a great show, and he's here. The waterproof drone, that's interesting. Look at that, waterproof drone, yeah. Hi Fei, more Chinese made ribs. It's a little bit weird going down this aisle where we've got cleaning on the right, and boats on the left. Some sailing, now there's actually some sailing uh, this is quite timely because there's actually some sailing exhibition going on down in uh, Tishui Lake which is way down at the end of line 16 it was where the hydrogen bikes were it takes a long time to get down there so I probably won't do that and there's also some promotion for that on the Bund as well so there's kind of a bit of an aquatic theme going on in Shanghai at the moment let's go on to N5 and here we have N5, I can see a camping theme. Right, we've got a bit of fishing. I heard there was quite a bit of fishing equipment here, so that might be what we've got here. But yeah, there's your camping theme. Classic for the expos that we have here in China. Let me have a look around here. Yep, some more fishing equipment. And more, so yeah, this is the fishing slash sports hall. fishing uh, Chinese light fishing everybody kind of gets into it a little bit and we've got a seemingly alive event here some uh, fish in there oh <laughs> I think uh, free stuff probably. There was a massive rush on the stage just then. So they're doing some talks as well. Ah, Insta360. So I guess they've got that. Uh, I think it goes un underwater. So they're obviously doing some promotion of other equipment here as well. I'm just going to get past this guy before he takes a photo of these guys. Various bits of tooling and clothing, all fishing here. Boats through to rods and other equipment. I'm going to go outside now and hopefully find a bit of water because if it's anywhere it'll be outside where they're hopefully doing some uh, actual presentations. 
way. It's not water, but it's some kind of uh, fishing competition, I guess, to hit these targets at the end. Here. No water. There's a few stands outside, but nothing significant. Didn't see any water. I was expecting at least something like a, a surfing uh, exhibition or something like that. We've had that before. Uh, what was that part of? I think that was the sports exhibition. So that was the boat show. I'll now go on to a little bit of the hotel area of the exhibition. I've already been through it. It's a little bit dull, but I'll, uh, I'll do it quickly. And then there's this cleaning expo, which I haven't been in at all. I think what we've got here is hotel decorations. I can see some chandeliers. Yeah, it's lighting and smart control of commercial spaces and hotels. I'll run down the aisle. Philips, big TVs and some air conditioning. It's various hotel services in here. Some more door locks, etc. The kind of stuff you get outside your hotel door. E2 is ceramics and flooring and engineering so I guess what they mean by that is maybe some elevator equipment and HVAC showers bathroom and total solutions yeah showers etc I would say that the boat guys could take a leaf out of the hotel interior decorators book as far as stand design is concerned they were quite swish in the uh, in the hotel space right let's do the w's i'm probably not going to number them i'll just show you some highlights furniture and decor it's beds smart health and sleep hotel textiles and uniforms wow hotel supplies i'm seeing kettles and Photos and hair dryers. Now, photos, that's an interesting one. Could I sell my photos to somebody here? Let's have a look. Something I always think they get wrong in hotels is where they have fridges and they've got the radiator on the back, of course, and then they put it into a little cupboard and it's totally ineffective because it cools the space and it heats the space. Somebody needs to design a better hotel fridge. Somebody's pretty serious with their camera setup. Hotel room amenities. Outside West 8 says hotel room supplies. Nothing outside with water in for boats. What a shame. So that's it for me in Expos, really. Uh, the, the boat show was a little bit dull. I'm sorry about that. But uh, from your voting on my community page, you've all said quite clearly, concentrate on transport, maybe a little bit of Shanghai, Tim. No Expos. So bye-bye to the SNIEC uh, until there's something particularly interesting, like wine, on again. And uh, I hope you at least uh, enjoyed that a little bit and consider joining me on the next one and I get back into public transport and Shanghai. Bye-bye.